Let's start thinking. Yeah, we've got to start getting some design down. We need to get a basic chassis design down. Yeah, come on then. Let's go for the. Yeah. Let's go to the paper. Go to the paper. My team currently is, has put together a design build for a rolling chassis, which is what they're working on at the minute. They prioritised the chassis over the top end lifting equipment at the minute. It's something like that, isn't it? So in effect, we want the batteries in there. And we're going. We're going cast the wheels here. The motors at the rear. Chassis, they're currently using uh, a combination of a genie basket, the base of a genie basket to form their, their main subframe. They're reinforcing it with some box section as well as some other cut off parts from um, an old slide out deck. And as soon as we've got the chassis done, we can move to the top end. Currently a bit of a Stand still, really, in our project. Two, three hours in, and hit a bit of a brick wall. We've got a Skyjack control system. But we've only got Genie and Nano, part, well, power towel parts to work with. So, yeah, we're just trying to come up with a few designs. You might be able to see them in the background uh, of getting the heads together. And I'll be joining them shortly after this interview, just to uh, see which way we can go and how we can control that machine, and uh, hopefully to win on Friday. We're at the Team Roger Build Bay. Um, we've actually primarily focused on the chassis. We're gonna have our main drive wheels at the front. The drive wheels are gonna be powered by one of our motors, which is just down here. So we've got a big motor with a pump. We've also then got a separate lift system, which we've got a mask right at the very back of our build, which is gonna be run off of a separate pump. So we've got a separate set of four batteries at the back of the bay. We've got a separate motor and a separate hydraulic tank so as we can lift independently we can actually drive and lift at the same time which is hopefully going to save us speed in the long run so our brake packs which are going to be our rear wheels um, we had no mounting frames um, because on we've taken them off of the live machine so what we've got is we've had to custom make um, a mounting frame which i'm really pleased with our uh, fabricate team they literally slot straight onto our chassis. Um, so we're just waiting for the fabrication base to become available so we can actually weld them into place. Yeah, so we're just uh, halfway through day two now. Came in this morning, still struggling a little bit. Couldn't really finalize a plan. Uh, team got the heads together this morning, we had a bit of a team briefing, come up with a solid, really good idea. All the lads and Abby, of course, have uh, come together. And uh, yeah, the plan seems to be going really well. Everything's now in place, ready to be welded up. And hopefully by the end of the play today, we should just be at the electrics and the hydraulics to focus on tomorrow. Ready for the big lift on Friday. Uh, day three of the build, uh, two hours to go. Manic isn't the words, both teams are going really well. My team is, Team Roger is quite happily finishing off some welding, they've done all the wiring in, they've got the hydraulics in.
and it runs. We've just driven it into the welding bay to finish it off. Myself plus three of my other teammates have gone through into Team Wickens to assist with some wiring issues that they've had because we want to we want to race. Pride's gone out the window and it's a case of all hands on deck. We want to make it work and hopefully uh, morning of tomorrow we should have two working machines ready for the race and that's all we want to do. Coming up to the end of day three, uh, we've got a couple of hours left to go. We are still at a point where we have no lift or drive and we've got all the hydraulics piped up, the motors are going in and we're just waiting now to basically suss out how we are going to control the machine and how, how to lift it, how to drive it, steer it in tomorrow's race and time is getting against us so hopefully we can uh, get it done in time and be ready for the race tomorrow. Uh, so the oil leak did put us back a little bit so we tried a different method to circumvent the oil and uh, work the brakes into it. So now we completely scrapped one section and are um, adapting and moving on. Yeah, I think we've got a good chance. As long as it works and everything like that, I think we've got a good chance of doing it.